Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. It's time to beat the game again? We'll see where we go with Dark Legacy 2. Well, we start with the right weapon for the job, huh? Let's take a look. Wesker reached the innermost recesses and prepared to meet his nemesis, the heart of the behemoth organization. It was the Twilight of Umbrella. Okay, and we're in. And we're here. Remember this place? I do. No first aid spray this time. Looks like someone already went down. Good old Chris. <laughs> that is genius. I like that quite a bit. Oh, I, I somehow hit that one on the right? Alright. That's so cool. We just leap down the elevator shaft. That's amazing. Oh, hello. I got one spider, I think. Missed a bunch, it's fine. Did I see an item? I did. Good. Good. Ugh. Enough with the liquors, though. Cool. Can I leave? Actually, can I? Maybe we're good. Aha! Beautiful. bad about that second one, but it's fine. Got him. That was immensely satisfying. That was incredibly satisfying. Oh, Anti-tank gun. Guess I just picked that up on the way. Don't worry about it. An anti-tank gun. Pay no attention. Really? That didn't do it? Burn. <laughs> But I do like that burn. Beautiful. Good enough for me.
All right. A little stressful, but we got there. What is that sparkly up there? You see that? There's something there. Grenade, I'll take that. You're causing quite the diversion. Everything's going just as I expected. I'll take it. Okay, checkpoint. I'll take that. 11 crits. I don't know what that is in terms of the ultimate grade. I guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, did that go far enough? Hope it did. Wow. All right. Enough out of you. We cool? I admire that tenacity. Good enough. Good. Curses, but it's fine. Stun the plants. Pretty good, right? I don't like getting hit, but we'll we'll see how this plays out. Have to short circuit this. Good. Got him. Good enough for you? I only have one grenade. I'm a little uncomfortable about that. What a waste of my time. The computer room is close. Too bad. one. Oh, bad angle. Really bad. Uh, well, I got the crit anyway. It's fine, I won't get hit. I was a shotgun. Oh, boo. Not my finest hour. We'll see what this leads to. But in the meantime, I'm going to set up my anti-tank gun. Code name Talos. A pinnacle of biological weaponry. All controlled by the Red Queen computer. The ultimate weapon. You got Ivan? Not bad, comrade. So this is it. Yes. She was activated that night at the mansion. I extracted her before Raccoon City became nothing more than a memory. Her and I have a lot in common. She and I. She linked with Talos, desiring more information and more data. She wanted to know the truth, no matter how painful that reality may be. That thing is merely a tool. What it wants is something the user determines for it. It's good that we can be honest with each other. That's the sign of a healthy relationship. It's a shame that this friendship has to end. No kidding. Do you think his weakness is the giant eye? 
Your lack of creativity disappoints me. I expected more from you. I have to wait for him to stop jumping around. You'll see where I'm going with this. Why am I not using the anti-tank gun? What kind of a fool am I? I found your weakness, Sergei. Enjoy your pain. What a wretched state you've come to. I hope you still have some fight left, old friend. I will only grow stronger with each strike. Not even you can question the superiority of my power now. My purpose remains as clear as ever. Fine. Have it your way. Is the little black rat winded? Everything's fine. Got him. No, we are not done yet. Requested data transfer complete. The summation of umbrella on one desk. This should come in handy. Damn. It looks like you have finished what you came to do as well, Cress. Just as I predicted. Goodbye, fair lady. Data portal initialized. 80 seconds until completion. I was wondering how Chris and Jill just won and left the facility. What about Sergey? Oh, he's dead. If he tells and just kind of awkwardly walked out, I guess every other game we beat ends up with a self-destruct. I don't know. All data erased. Damn. Oh, come on. Soon, Umbrella will be gone forever. They held the power of the T-Virus in their hands, but they lack the proper vision. The true vision of the future. And now, it falls to me to usher in this new future. How amazing. The true end of the game is Wesker's end. That's great. I'm going to let these play. This is cool. According to the latest report, oh. Umbrella has been found guilty on all charges of crimes related to the Raccoon City incident five years ago. The prosecution has remained quiet on how they acquired proof of Umbrella's involvement and the defense plans to appeal the decision on the grounds that the evidence is not admissible in court. The Russian Ministry of the Interior has agreed to cooperate with the FBI in finding the whereabouts of Oswald E. Spencer. Mr. Spencer has been determined to have played a large part in the biohazard that contaminated Raccoon City. An anonymous witness close to the suspect was invaluable in providing evidence about Mr. Spencer's involvement. It said Oswald, but she totally said Oswald, didn't she? Also, how ironic that our greatest ally in bringing down Umbrella was Wesker. Of course we're enemies and have very different goals. Wesker's just trying to amass power, but he's the guy. He did what Chris and Jill have been trying to do for a while. He just walked in and did it. 
Although, ironically, he might have needed their help. Talos could have been a problem. That plus Sergei. Whoa! I just saw Jun Fukuda in the credits, and it even said Grasshopper Manufacture. That's amazing. I think Jun Fukuda did the Killer7 soundtrack. Freaking marvelous. English ADR, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Fantastic. There's probably a lot of names that I'm not noticing all at once because there's so much going by, but damn, this is a big deal. And this really is one of the better rail shooters that was out at the time. It's honestly one of the better ones that I've played even now. This is really well done. Because there's loads of stuff, right? There, there are all sorts of rail shooters, but... But the multiple paths here, the finding the files, the going for crit shots, the Umbrella, Resident Evil lore, it's so fun. And for the very first time, I'm playing this game in HD. So cool that that exists. I'm still letting this play just in case we have any more commentary, but we're on special thanks. We'll see where this goes. Okay, regular credits, but we're doing the logo, so it might be about done. Caveat, why does that sound familiar? I remember... Oh, there's Grasshopper Manufacturer. The old logo, it's not even the Grasshopper logo, it's just GHN. It's crazy. But... Caveat. I remember they're like a weird company. Were they like... Drakengard or the original Nier or something? Hello? My dear Spencer, how the mighty have fallen. Your umbrella has folded, and now you are a fugitive in the same world you once sought to control. Welcome to the Umbrella Archives. Please select the desired service from the menu. South Pole was on there. We shall meet again before the conclusion of this drama. Then, you will learn of the history. I will write for this world. Amazing. I wonder if this is where he was during, um, not assignment data, but separate ways in Resident Evil 4. But I did it. All asses, baby. I did it. Anti-tank gun. Spade diamond club heart key. Film ABCD. Letter from Sergei to Nikolai. Wesker's notes on differing mutations. Sergei monster notes. Online interview with anti-umbrella activists. It's a CD. Oswell E. Spencer profile. Hunk's scenario. Fourth survivor. By the way, correct me if I'm wrong. Did it say Oswell with a Z? Because I, I want to say in the credits it spelled it with an S. But then I think she said Oswald. Like, everything is wrong. Finding the whereabouts of Oswald E. Spencer. But look at that, S ranks. And now you know what was going on with that one special mission. I thought it might be Death's Door 2, but no. Fourth Survivor, you have to beat every other chapter in the game to unlock this. In any case, I'll take a quick look at the anti-tank gun. Possesses a very low ammo capacity, but is the most powerful weapon available. One upgrade is eight stars. Get the hell out of here. We are missing one magnum but I know where that is. Let's take a look at our archives. This is it for this folder, I'm very excited. Look at that, this is it. Letter from Sergei to Nikolai. Nikolai, I apologize for the delay in responding. Your offer definitely has the potential to turn quite a profit. However, the price I had to pay was high and had to be considered carefully. I have not changed my mind about relinquishing them. I understand that these ten soldiers I fought alongside with are nothing more than a number, a price tag to Umbrella. I'm sure you are finding this all quite amusing, Silver Fox, but this is a sad day for me. I feared the day I would have to make this decision. After all, these men were all raised by me and are a part of me. I can't help but feel reservations about turning these thinking, feeling human beings into biological weapons and cursing them to an eternity of living death. However, I have made my decision and will not waver. Progress is always built on sacrifice, 
If we are to truly restore our mother into the great country she once was, I am willing to endure any amount of suffering, and a price in blood is still a small price to pay. If I have to cut down my very body, it is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I will wail and shed tears of blood and rend every last flesh of regret for my body if it means I can usher in a new age. My answer, comrade, is yes. Silver Fox, your wish shall be granted. Sergei Vladimir. Damn. Wesker's notes on differing mutations. I have a theory on Sergei's unique course of evolution. I had always assumed that the variety of effects the virus brings about in its host were mere random mutations. However, witnessing firsthand the effects on Sergei combined with what I know of Marcus's transformation points to a common thread between their outcomes. The host's mindset appears to influence the evolution of the virus. Sergei mutated into a monster whose very body is the picture of suffering as he was ripped apart from the inside by thorns. I can only imagine that his transformation represents the true mindset of the person he was inside. While I have no proof, my intuition tells me that this must be the case. If the personality of the host can truly affect the course of the virus manifestation, where does that leave me? Ooh. Sergei Monster Notes. Sergei transformed into this monster after injecting himself with a virus. The tentacles binding his arms fuse into one large tentacle. At the end of this appendage is a dangerous claw that can be used for movement or attacking. Online interview with anti-umbrella activist. Reporter. The trial is the talk of the internet and queries on popular search engines continue to make the top three list. However, there are many who raise their eyebrows that your battle against the multinational corporation is carrying things too far. What is your opinion on this? Sarah. Umbrella is not just another out-for-profit corporation. They are a powerful organization closely resembling an army or a country. We have no choice but to wage war this way on a company trying to cover up the truth. We have battled in court for almost half a decade now to reach a verdict against Umbrella, and we would do it again if given the chance. Reporter. So you're the David fighting the Goliath of Umbrella. However, now that a decision has been handed down, the problem's solved, right? Sarah. One problem was solved, but some doubt still remains, and I feel it's too early to celebrate our victory. Reporter. Doubt? And what doubt would that be? Sarah. There are two questions we need to ask ourselves. First, why is it that it has taken so long for evidence against Umbrella to appear? Why now? Second, why is the nature of that evidence still being concealed to this day? Reporter. There are a lot of popular theories flying around about that one. Sarah. Take a look at the court records. It seems as if the evidence was data being stored on a computer. Umbrella must have been hiding it right to the very end. The most likely reason none of this evidence has gone public is that it contains information that would incriminate many world governments, including our own. This evidence is also rumored to have been acquired from dealings with an anti-social organization. Reporter. But Umbrella's gone. Certainly that means the biggest menace is out of the way, right? Sarah. Have the wrongdoings of Umbrella come to light? Certainly. But all the data on virus production and biological weaponry has not. I don't feel the data has been erased, but that it has ended up in someone's hands. Someone who will inherit Umbrella's dark legacy. <laughs> Reporter. Inheriting a dark legacy? That sounds like something out of a TV show. Or constantly in real life, where companies go bankrupt and then rebrand themselves. Sarah. It's easy to laugh and dismiss it as some movie of the week story. However, if there is any chance that such a possibility is true, it is worth our concern. Humans can be foolish creatures. That's how I talk. That's how people talk. Even after witnessing the destructive might that wiped out an entire city, someone could still steal that power and try to use it to further their own ambitions, regardless of the price to be paid. Umbrella may only be the beginning of this nightmare. The mystery surrounding the court decision makes that much pretty obvious. Ooh. Well, this certainly isn't the last Resident Evil game, I'll tell you that right now. Oswell E. Spencer Profile The founder of Umbrella Corporation. Oswell E. Spencer is a man of noble birth, and together with James Marcus and Edward Ashford, he discovered the progenitor virus. To continue researching the virus as a potential biological weapon, the three created Umbrella Corporation as a front for their activities. Spencer mercilessly removed rival after rival, continuing to expand his own influence. With the completion of research on the T-Virus, he seized full control of Umbrella. He never reveals himself or his true intentions, even to officers of the company, leaving Spencer a figure shrouded in mystery. Ooh, intriguing. And now for our last rewards, the keys. These keys with card suit designs were used to unlock police station doors, and the film. This undeveloped film contained images to be used in a new scoop. Okay. And now we have new, 
over Raccoon's destruction. Fourth survivor, huh? I sure am excited, but for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We beat the game. Again. We've seen what happens with Chris and Jill, where they beat Talos and just kind of awkwardly walk out. Oh, I guess we won. That was a weird scene, but now it's revealed. Wesker killed Sergei Vladimir, took all of Umbrella's data, shut the place down. That explains why they were able to just strangely leave with little opposition, and everything's gone their way. Wesker saved the day. You know he's only going to be a bigger threat later, but in the meantime, congratulations, not exactly stars, but the following group, we did it, Umbrella's been taken down, and yet we're not done with the game. There is one more mission. I look forward to seeing it. Until next time, everyone.